How's it going everybody? Let's take a look at competition baffles for the Vance and Hines Twin Slash Slip-Ons. My name is Ron and here on the channel I tackle projects of all sizes and share those learnings with you. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you'll be alerted whenever I post new videos. So this is part one of a two video series on the competition baffles for the Vance and Hines Twin Slash Slip-Ons. In this first video, I'll cover the installation process. And in part two, I will cover what my experiences are riding the bike with the competition baffles on it. So if you didn't see my previous video, which I'll link to here, be sure to take a look at that for details on the Stage 3 kit. I have a Soft Tail Street Bob FXBB with the Harley Davidson Stage 3 kit. I go into all the details about the kit and the parts that I used. The twin slash slip-ons come with the standard baffle installed and Vance and Hines offers two other baffles as well, the quiet baffle and the competition baffle. And since I got the stage three kit and I'm interested in power and torque, I thought, I wonder what the difference will be with the competition baffles and will there be any benefit there? So I ordered a set of baffles and installed those and I'll share with you that process right now. You may need to use a pair of needle nose pliers or something similar to reach inside the pipe to grab that baffle and pull it out. And when you insert the new baffle, you want to make sure that you get it in about the right position so that the threaded boss on the baffle is close to the right position to where that mounting bolt will, will go in. And then just slowly press that in. And then once you see that come into view and the screw hole on the pipe itself, you can slowly align that and get it right where it needs to be. One thing to be aware of when you install the baffles is that you will, you will have to remove the heat shield so that you can get to the bolts that secure the baffles inside the end of the pipe. And you definitely want to remove those heat shields. You could try sliding them forwards and backwards and doing all that, but it's just gonna, it's gonna make your life easier if you just take those heat shields off. competition baffles come with new mounting bolts and those mounting bolts already have Loctite on them. But if for some reason yours don't have the Loctite pre-applied, be sure to put that on there because we know if you touch any bolt on a Harley Davidson, you must use Loctite. This video is not sponsored, but I will have links to this product and other things in the video description, so be sure to check that out.
when you go to install the heat shields back on, be really careful with the clamps that hold the shields onto the pipes. There's a bracket inside the shield that you have to route that clamp through. And then when you route it through that bracket, you'll wanna make sure that the end of that clamp doesn't come out and scratch the bike or the other heat shield. So just take your time, feed that through carefully, and make sure that it doesn't come in contact with anything else that you want to avoid. So now that the baffles are installed, let's have a listen and compare the standard baffles to the competition baffles at idle and see what they sound like. Which sound do you prefer, or can you even tell the difference? Honestly, standing next to the bike at idle, they sound so similar, I really can't tell a difference. And I used a, a dB meter on my phone, which of course is not super scientific, but it gives some degree of comparison. And using the dB meter, there's really no significant difference between the two baffle kits. So at idle, there's not much of a difference. So what I will do is I will put some miles on these baffles and I'll let you know what differences I've experienced and tell you how those go. I'll post a future video with those results, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted whenever I post new videos. Drop in a comment, which do you think is gonna bring the better performance once I get out and test this on the road? The standard baffle or the competition baffle? Have you tried the competition baffles or have you tried the quiet baffles? I would love to hear that and I'm sure the community would appreciate getting that input as well. And if you found this video useful, please hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the ride. I'll see you next time.